Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing uh, some of the numericals uh, from the bell drives. So, hope you remember in bell drives, uh, we discussed two major categories that is the flat bell drives and wheat bell drives. So, we will try to cover uh, both the varieties of problems. And uh, these two problems I have uh, taken from uh, uh, BTU prescribed textbook, Design of Machine Element and authored by VK Bandhari. So, we will move to the first problem. So, your belt is to transmit 20 kW at 720 rpm to your rolling machine with a speed ratio of 3. The center distance between the pulleys is 3 meter. Uh, design a suitable belt drive with the rolling machine uh, pulley diameter is 1.2 meter. So, the given data, let me write down power 20 kW, driver speed uh, 720 rpm, transmission ratio I that is 3, center distance C 3 meter and driven pulley diameter that is capital D is uh, 12 meter. So first step one, uh, selection of the standard pulleys. So I'll go with the formula I is equal to D by D or small n by uh, capital N. So since I know the transmission ratio value, so 3 is equal to 1200 divided by D. So I'll be finding out the small d value as uh, 400 uh, mm which is nothing but diameter of the smaller pulley. And after finding out uh, this one, uh, let me go to the uh, table with the standard pulley diameters. I will be finalizing as uh, for D is 400 mm means the capital D value would be 1200 mm. Then moving to the next step, that is a design power calculation where the design power formula is a rated kilowatt into load selection factor divided by arc of contact factor into small uh, pulley factor. So uh, from the table uh, where I will be writing the load is shock load for the rolling mills. So the load uh, correcting factor, let me assume it as uh, 1.5. So and the arc of contact uh, which is nothing but 180 degree uh, minus 1200 minus 400 by 3000 into 60 degree where the formula is capital D minus D by C um, uh, into 60 degree. So 180 minus uh, all those things. So after substituting everything I will be getting the arc of contact value as 164 degree and for 164 you can able to see in the table in between 160 and 170 uh, the uh, almost uh, the arc of contact factor would be 1.04. Next, uh, from uh, let me find out the design power by using this. So, rated kilowatt is 25, which is given load correction factor is 1.5 and arc of contact factor is 1.04 and small pulley factor is 1.14. So, I am getting uh, the design power as 25 kilowatts, where uh, I got uh, this small pulley factor value from the table based on the, uh, the transmission ratio I value. You can able to see more than uh, 3, it is 1.14. Then moving to the step 3, that is selection of the belt. So, I will be going with the Dunlop Ford belt which is selected based on the load type because uh, as per the table given it is the heavy duty and uh, for the medium uh, belt speeds. And for the step low, step 4 it is a uh, load rating and number of belt plies. So, the velocity formula pi d n by 60 since d is uh, known and n is known. So, velocity I am getting as uh, 15.08 meter per second and the load rating is 0 0.0289 into 15.08 by 10. So, the load rating it is 0 0.04358 kilowatt per uh, millimeter per ply. And uh, so, based on the values of velocity and the uh, diameter, so the number of plies I will be considering being able to see like a 15 and uh, almost uh, 400 very closer so I can uh, uh, get the number of fly values the 6 from the table minimum pulley diameter table and the step 5 is the selection of standard belt width uh, the formula is uh, width of pulley equal to design power by a load rating into number of flies so 25 into load rating 0 0.04358 into number of flies 6 so width of pulley I am getting 95.60 mm so from the page is, uh, you know like from the table if you see means for the 4 type and 6 fly uh, belt so, the standard width of the belt, I am getting it as uh, 112 mm. Then, sixth step, uh, calculation of the belt length for the open belt drive and the cross drive and the quarter turn. Uh, these are all the formulas which is available in the data handbook. And here, our formula is uh, length for the open belt drive. So, it is uh, 2C into, I mean, 2C plus pi by 2D plus D, that is capital D plus small d plus capital D minus small d so whole square divided by 4C. So, all the values are known. After substituting in the formula, I will be getting the length of belt as 8566.6 mm. And step 7 is the pulley dimensions uh, based on, uh, you know, like the values uh, uh, where I will be considering the pulley width as uh, 125 mm from the table. I think it is little blur, but uh, already in the regular classes, I taught you how to take the width based on, uh, you know, like the, the width values. And number of arms, uh, it is uh, 4 for diameters up to 450 and 6 for diameters over 
450 mm of so for smaller pulleys it is 4 and for larger pulley it is 6 so the crowning of the pulley for smaller pulley it is 4 mm and pulley width 125 mm where thickness is 1 mm for larger pulley the thickness is 1.2 mm it is recommended then moving to the next problem again uh, i have chosen this problem from bandari and it is a v-belt problem previously we discussed flat belt so here the question is a centrifugal pump running at 340 rpm is to be driven by a 100 kilowatt motor running at 1440 rpm so the drive is to work for at least 20 hours a day so the center distance between motor and pump shaft is 1200 mm so suggest a suitable v-belt drive so the data set me write down power 100 kilowatt driver speed uh, 1440 and driven speed 340 and center distance 1200 mm so first we need to select uh, the belt uh, cross section so based on the power of motor given the cross section of the belt we will be selecting as d because uh, the usual load of the drive is supposed to be 22 150 meters then it will come under the d category step 2 selection of the standard pulleys the formula is i is equal to d by d i know what is capital D and small d so i am getting the i value is 4.235 and even from the table we can write down for the d uh, cross section i am getting the value is 355 mm so 4.235 and uh, the d value is 355 so capital d i am getting as 1503.33 mm and uh, uh, step 3 that is the center distance so the center distance is given so that is 1200 mm so we need not to worry about that one so we will move to the next step that is a nominal pitch length section so so the formula for nominal pitch length uh, is l equal to 2c plus the pi by 2 into capital d plus small d plus the capital uh, d minus small d whole square by 4c so all the data are available after substituting i am getting the length of belt as 5793.83 mm and uh, here we can able to uh, write down the standard nominal length uh, based on the D cross section from the table I am getting it as 6124 mm and moving to the next one modification factor so the length selection factor FC from page number 7.58 are like table 7.60 based on the cross section of the belt selected it's chosen so the load correcting factor is equal to 1 and the arc of uh, contact factor fd is also chosen here so it is 180 degree minus uh, 1600 minus 355 by 1200 into 60 that is uh, capital d minus small d divided by c so the value i'm getting 117.75 for this approximately the arc of contact factor value is 0.81 and the service factor FA, uh, since the working hours is over 16 hours, so let me write down the service factor as 1.3 based on the application uh, centrifugal pump. And the next one is the calculation of maximum power capacity. I will be for the going with the, the, the belt cross section D, the formula, it does the maximum value supposed to be 425. So the maximum power capacity after writing down the formula from the data handbook, I am getting uh, the uh, calculated value as uh, 25 kilowatts. Seventh step is uh, determination of a number of belts. Uh, the formula is uh, uh, written here that is P into FA divided by K into W into FC into FD. So all the values are known. Substituting here, I will be getting the number of belts as 8. And the last step is uh, actual center distance. We need to find out once again center distance because there might be, uh, you know, like uh, some uh, uh, wrong values uh, with the center distance. So, uh, I'll be uh, substituting in the formula that is C is equal to A plus square root of A square minus B. All the values uh, can be found out from the formulas. So I'm getting C value as 1386.83 mm. And the last step, uh, uh, pulley dimensions. So I'll be listing down everything. The final answer for the D cross section V bent, uh, the D uh, small D 355, capital D 1600, a uh, pitch width the 27, angle 36 degrees, center of uh, uh, center to center distance 37 mm, edge of pulley 24 mm, uh, minimum distance down to pitch line 8.1 mm and you can able to see if possible you can uh, draw the sketch uh, with all the values whatever we have uh, calculated. This is how this problem should be solved and this is uh, both the problems are very important even though I uh, am explained very quickly but if you just uh, pass off and if you just solve the problem easily you can uh, understand. Thank you.